those of you who are hearing this rhyme for the first time, know that these feelings were not born overnight. Instead, they came into this existence to be after many years of pain and strife. Now, I'm gonna ask that y'all bear with me on this one and please, not to be judgmental of my mental. Instead, become a receiver of my expression and audience that I could vent to. So now, if y'all don't mind, I would like to take y'all on a stroll down memory lane. And then hopefully by the end of this, explain why this question is embedded so deep into my brain. So, where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Where Most might find it wrong that I stand here tonight questioning your presence. But I do so with every ounce of my soul and with every bit of my natural essence. See, I was always taught to go to you whenever I was in need. So as a young kid, I did with this plea, please, just make it all stop. But you ignored me like I was the black sheep to your flock. Like you didn't need my hit with your hop and it was all clear every time my mom would scream. Yo, go call the cops. Daddy is upset again. And everybody knew once daddy got mad to be in his way when he went on his war path was all bad. But somehow, mommy always got caught up. And although she was rough and tough, you know, a strong black woman, her strength couldn't compare when daddy wanted to give her a good old fashioned ass whooping. And naturally, as my mom's only son, I felt like I had to protect, I had to do something. But I was just a little kid, so I soon realized that I couldn't have done nothing. So whenever this long stop would take place, as the tears would stream down from my face, I would fall to my knees and pray that you shower down your amazing grace. But it never rained. It never came. Instead, blood stain cover walls as tight drawers release to let out this last call. Please! Help her! She needs your help. I can't even begin to imagine the pain that she must have felt. And no! I would not accept. Well, it's like my child to play the chords that you dealt. Forget that! Tell me what made my father attack. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I know what it was. It must have been that crack cocaine drug. You know the one that my father introduced to my mother? The one that will one day take her completely under The one that took warm summers and replaced them with cold winters The one that broke up the sacred act of our family dinner The one that left my sister and I to dry each other's eyes Cause we was looking for mommy or daddy But mommy or daddy was too busy getting high We were left to fend for ourselves by ourselves And we didn't have anybody else And for years this is how the situation stayed Until my parents finally decided to go the separate ways my father got his life together, but my mama was left with plenty of more dark days. This brand new self-medicated addiction that she could not defeat took her away from her children, left the homeless out in the streets. Do you hear me now? Do you understand what I mean? When Tupac talked about his mama being a crack fiend but a black queen? This was my reality, not just a song for a fan to sing. And it's quiet as kept. Remember when I used to have those suicidal thoughts that would embrace me in the dark that I hear with a smile so tender and mild, just a child. Look, man, they tell me that you work in mysterious ways, and hey, that's okay. They tell me that you don't put more on your children than what they could bear, and that's fair. See, I ain't up here saying that I don't believe in you, man. All I'm doing is simply asking is where were you? Where were you at when I desperately needed you? About it. You had to be there. Cause throughout all the madness, man, I never lost my way. I'm still alive, breathing, and pressing on. So I just wanna say thank you for giving me this day.